Greg is going to show us how to set up our basic amateur radio station and the first thing we need to do is identify all these items of equipment. So let's start with the heavy one at the end here. Greg, what's this? Yep, that's the PSU, Bob. PSU? Power supply unit. That provides the electricity, the 13.8 volts DC that's required for the radio. And, and that plugs into the mains? And that plugs into the mains. All right, we'll work out all the connections in a minute, yep, but let's just absolutely. look at the individual items. This? The radio or the transceiver. Transceiver? Yes, transmitter, receiver. Oh, well, so it does what it says on the tin. It does exactly. the transmitting and it does the receiving. Yes. What about these two boxes on the end, Greg? We have here the ATU or AMU and the SWR meter. Oh, well, hang on then. ATU and AMU? Is the antenna tuning unit or also known as the antenna matching unit. And what does that do? This we use to ensure the antenna is on a resonant frequency by pretending it's either shorter or longer than it actually is. I see. So what that does is it fools the transceiver into thinking it does have a resonant antenna. Absolutely. That's exactly what it does. SWR. Yes, standing wave ratio. A standing wave ratio. All right. So what's one of those when it's at home? When you transmit to an antenna, we want all the power to go out of the antenna into the outside world. Unfortunately, if the antenna isn't quite resonant, some of that power will actually come back down the, the cable, back into the radio. Uh, we want that as low as possible. Oh, I see. So if you have a resonant antenna, then the SWR would be low by definition. Absolutely. If it's non-resonant, we can use that box to bring the standing wave ratio down. Yes, that's correct. Got it. Okay. So now what we've got to do is connect them together. Let's connect them together. We start then, Greg, with the power supply, the PSU. Yeah, the power supply, which as mentioned, uh, provides the 13.8 volts, has connectors, these, which fasten onto these poles here. One thing we have to make sure of is that the power is switched off before we start connecting. As you can see, we've got a red and a black wire. So red to red. Ensure it's finger tight and black to black. We've now got uh, a power lead connected to our power supply, but we've got to plug it into the radio next. We do that using this connector here, which connects directly like that, pushing until you hear the click. And there's a number of other connectors on the back, but as with all radios, it's a particular shape. You can't accidentally plug it in to the wrong socket. We have power to our transceiver, and the next bit, it's quite important that we get the sequence the right way round. The first connection from here is going into the SWR meter, and we're taking that from the transceiver port, TX. We'll use a patch lead for that. In this case, it's PL259 to, to PL259. So we'll put it in and twist until the connector is finger tight. And the same on the transceiver end. Again, finger tight. And now we'll be taking it from the SWR, the antenna socket, which is just there. In this case, another PL259 patch lead going from the antenna port to the AMU, to the transmitter port. Again, ensuring it's finger tight. And finally, we have the important part, the antenna cable. So again, we'll connect that into the antenna port and screw until it's hand tight. When you're setting up your amateur radio station for the first time, that's quite a lot to take in. So let's just do a quick recap of the connections. We've started with the power supply, the PSU, connected to the mains and giving us the 13.8 volts out that comes through this cable to our transceiver. Then from the antenna socket of the transceiver, we're connected into the SWR meter here. The SWR meter is connected into the back of our ATU or AMU into the transmit socket. And then of course, the important one, the antenna is plugged in here on this ATU, it's into coax one. There's two sockets here and you could select two different aerials from the front of the ATU. So those are our connections and we're ready to go.